Hey, I'm Timo from Equip2. I'm here to show you guys how to navigate the display on the Keystrake S3 and S5 stacker. This is how you navigate the display. When the key is turned on, this display shows up here. Here we have our hours, our DPF soot load, so how blocked it is at 8%. We have an engine alarm that will show orange or red. If there is an engine alarm, engine RPM, this little white box here um, will display green if the conveyor is running. Uh, we have an oil pressure light and we also have a DPF burn off light, these two here, and they will display um, green and yellow when it's currently doing a DPF burn. This icon here this button is to make the conveyor so the stacker actually operate. This button here, pressing this button actuates the hydraulics so you can do all your unfolding and lifting functions of the stacker. This button here is to cancel your DPF burn. To go to the next page, we can click the right arrow and this comes up with your fault code page. As you can see, there are no faults currently there. Um, if there is a fault code and you fixed it, you can hit the reset button, which is this button here. This icon here, um, if you hit that button, it stops the alarm from sounding. These two are showing if your DPF is actively burning or there's a fault, and it's your DPF cancel button once again. Hit the right arrow again, and this is your engine data page. So up the top here, we can see coolant temperature, uh, engine oil pressure, how many litres an hour the engine is using, how much engine load in a percentage, intake air temperature, and boost pressure. This blue DPF light here, so this button below it, is to manually activate the DPF. So when the DPF reaches a soot loading of roughly around 15%, it will prompt you on the screen to do a manual burn, and this is where you would go to do that. Hitting the right arrow again, we will come back to our home page. The only other feature that we have on this display is the up and down arrows, and they are to adjust the engine RPM manually when the engine is running. This is how you navigate the display and startup procedure on an S3 and S5 Keystrack stacker. If you need any more info, please don't hesitate to contact us.